Hey guys, so today's video is going to be how I curl my hair. And a lot of people have actually requested this video. I always get comments when my hair is curly on how I do it and um, how I get it so curly. I do want to tell you that I do have curly hair to begin with. As you can see, this is just out of the shower and how it naturally is. Um, I absolutely hated it growing up, but the older I got, the more easier it was to work with. So um, I do curl my hair occasionally and I do use a curling iron. So I wanted to kind of share with you what I do and it's pretty easy. I don't do any types of tricks or anything. So um, I'll go ahead and show you what I do. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is pin our hair back and I just like to cut it off right above my ears and section the top part up. So this way we have a full bottom section and I just split it down the middle. I've already sprayed heat protectant on my hair and that is the most critical step involving hair curling or hair straightening, you never want to forget to use some sort of heat protectant on your hair. Um, the one that I have used is the Moroccan Oil Heat Styling Protection Spray. And I actually did my first video on this. It was a product review. I absolutely love this product. It's a little pricey, but it works really, really well. It heat protects up to, I think, 400 degrees and it smells really great all you do is you spray it on it does leave a little sticky feeling but once you use your brush and you brush it out you honestly don't feel it at all so i went ahead and sprayed my whole head with that and now i'm going to just brush out any knots that i might have all right now i'm going to take my curling wand and this is the Sudu Revolution Curling Wand. I bought this from Follicle.com. It had one of the highest reviews on it. And no lie, this curling iron works better than any one I've ever bought. Um, it heats up super fast and it keeps the curl, really gives it a good hold. So again, I do have curly hair, so it might be because of that that I'm able to hold the curl for a little longer. But... It does have a high, medium, and low setting, which I really like because you don't want to put so much heat on your hair. Um, and it does have a little kind of kickstand, so that way you won't have to lay it directly on your counter. So this came with a heating glove, but unfortunately I lost it and I can't find it. Um, so I'm going to be really careful when I use this, and I'm sure most of us have gotten burned with a curling iron before, but just be really, really careful. So I'm going to take a strand of hair and I would say maybe about a one inch section. You don't want to be too big or else um, you're going to have to let it sit on your hair for longer. And I take it like this and I roll it around and you want to hold it in your hair for maybe 10 seconds depending on how hot your curling iron is and you let it go and it forms a curl and a lot of people have different styles some people like to take the curl and kind of pin it until it's cool and that way it'll hold the curl better honestly since my hair is curly it doesn't really matter whether I do a hold or not I can pin it if I wanted to but I'll end up looking like Shirley Temple <laughs> with the bottom half and something that I wanted to remind people of the method that I use to curl is when I'm curling my left side I put the barrel underneath and 
I wrap it away from my face. See how I'm pointing the end of the wand away from my face and I'm wrapping it that way? That's because if you tilt it like that, you can actually see that you're giving your hair a good curl and it's actually pointing toward your face like that. And on this side, on my right side, when I'm wrapping the barrel around, I put it underneath, but I put the wand facing my face and I wrap it towards the end of the barrel, which is towards my face. This really gives you uh, curls and when you go like that as well, you can also um, aim the barrel down and you can see how the curl is reacting and it's actually curling away from your face. So this one is away from your face and this side is towards your face. There's no really specific reason that I do that. It's just easier to hold it. A lot of people, when they curl, I'll show you. When they curl, they actually hold the curling wand like this and they wrap it around like this. This is another method that you can do. I just don't prefer to do this because my arms get really tired when I'm having to consistently hold it above my head like that. You do get nice curls like that, big barrel curls, um, but it's whatever your preference is. Okay, so now we're going to section off some more hair and I'm going to just take the top part, the top crown of my head and pin it up just to kind of section it off and then I'm going to split the middle part into two sections. to take the top section I'm actually parting mine down the middle and you want to repeat the same steps and this one you want to treat a little differently just because it's going to uh, frame your face so I'm just going to take it and I'm going to take the curling iron, I'm going to arch my arm this way, still keep it behind the hair, and wrap it away from my face. And there you go. Now the last step that I like to do is you want to wait until your curls are pretty much cooled down because if they have too much heat and you move them around a lot, it's going to really lose the curl. So wait till they're cooled off, then take some hairspray. I'm taking the L'Oreal El Net Satin Hairspray and you just kind of want to put it around your head. You don't want to put too much, but just enough to kind of coat the curls. And then what I like to do is take my fingers and kind of just brush through the curls. This all depends on your preference. If you really like 
the tight curl look, then you can keep it um, tighter. But I really like the loose waves. So using your fingers to kind of separate the curls really helps give it that loose, um, beachy kind of look. All right, so after you have completed the detangling of your curls and loosen them up a little bit you want to reapply the hairspray just to make sure that you keep it a good hold <laughs> totally inhaled that <laughs> oh that was awful and you're done all right guys so that's the end of my video i really hope that i helped someone learn how to curl their hair or possibly um figure out a new style to try out if there's any other tutorials you'd like to see just let me know i love doing them for you and until next time i will talk to you guys soon bye guys